Okay, good. Thank you very much. Uh, warm welcome from my side this morning. Um, as uh, Dara mentioned, I'm uh, the general manager for product strategy at Volkswagen of America. That uh, leads me often to the EIL. Uh, we're discussing here driver assistance on all the topics what uh, Peter uh, introduced you uh, this morning to. Uh, what I now want to do, give you a, a bit an update about uh, our Think Blue strategy. Uh, that is uh, kind of an umbrella of all uh, issue, uh, of all topics, of all uh, yeah, which we are following up in regards to uh, ecological sustainability in our uh, company. It's in regards to projects, products, and uh, initiatives. Uh, one example uh, which I can give you is that we, for instance, uh, uh, investing 738 million in renewable energies, uh, what means solar energy, uh, wind energy, and hydroelectric power to reduce our carbon emissions uh, uh, worldwide in regards to by 40 percent in regards to uh, production uh, uh, associated energy supply. That's one of the activities uh, we are doing uh, worldwide. We are having this umbrella globally. Uh, we have uh, several initiatives all over the country um, uh, and also outside the US. Uh, you can read about this more on the internet. There are uh, different initiatives uh, described in different countries. What I would like uh, to talk about now is what we are doing um, in the US. Uh, we have, for instance, a multi-year uh, partnership with the uh, Museum of Modern Art uh, in New York to explore how innovation and social uh, responsibility uh, are communicated. You might be familiar with our uh, plant in Chattanooga. Uh, we received for this plant the LED Platinum Award uh, from uh, the uh, Green Building Certification Program. Um, so we are using there, for instance, we're collecting rainwater. Uh, we have superior insulation uh, of our facility there. Uh, and we also use LED for lighting uh, there. That's one example of how we could uh, achieve uh, uh, or get this award. And we also have a partnership with uh, Bikes Belong uh, to develop bike-friendly communities. So we are also investing in different kinds of uh, transportation to uh, help for a cleaner environment. One example is also this month we kick off a bike ride, a, bike ride, uh, a 530 miles bike ride to Washington uh, together with a sponsorship <coughs> with the uh, cyclocross legion uh, Tim Johnson uh, to motivate also people to use these uh, opportunities. Um, as I mentioned in the beginning, Think Blue uh, also drives our product development uh, ideas. Uh, it encompasses our mission to crea uh, create cars which are environmentally friendly uh, and also a pleasure to drive. So we think that our customers uh, don't want to compromise in performance for uh, ecological uh, sustainability. They also uh, want to have both the fun to drive and that uh, and cars which uh, fit uh, their lifestyle. We did this, uh, we took this to a little uh, extreme. Last year we showed in Qatar uh, these uh, car here you are shown on this, uh, which is shown on this picture, uh, equipped with a two uh, liter diesel hybrid engine at a seven speed uh, dual clutch transmission. That results in a, a pretty impressive fuel economy of uh, 235 miles per gallon. Um, one another example how far we can uh, bring this with the ideas we are having um, in our uh, company. In general, Think Blue is not new to us. We were the first OEM who introduced downsized engines in the U.S., uh, which are turbocharged, which use turbocharger uh, and direct injection. Um, we also are uh, selling diesel cars in the US since 1977, then transferred this to uh, TDI engines, so turbocharged, direct injected uh, diesel engines, which we are selling today. 20% of our current lineup are sold with uh, diesel engines. Um, so with this, we are the number one uh, diesel car seller, passenger car sellers in the US. And these cars are available in the Passat, in the Golf, 
We will drive it today, uh, most likely uh, also in the uh, Beetle. And we have it in the Turek, so a lot of our uh, 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 models are available with diesel engines. Uh, they achieve uh, fuel economy up to uh, or even more than 40 miles per gallon, uh, which is uh, uh, pretty uh, good and offers the customer a good value. Um, clean diesel, that is uh, the idea behind uh, offers a fuel economy of a hybrid without uh, compromising in performance. That's what I mentioned in the beginning, meets exactly uh, what we want to offer to the customer. But for those customers who are not as familiar uh, with diesel or hesitating to take a diesel, we have other options as well. Uh, we have the first turbocharged hybrid in our lineup in the Touareg. Uh, but we also offer the uh, fuel-efficient turbocharged TSI and uh, gasoline engines. Um, the, uh, maybe uh, some words more about uh, the diesel. So in general, if you compare diesel engines with gasoline engines, it provides you 20% uh, uh, less uh, uh, carbon emissions. Uh, and um, also, it is a, a, the source of the APA. So if uh, one third of all Americans uh, would use for their daily drive uh, diesel engines, you could send 1.5 billion, uh, uh, billion, uh, billion barrel oil back every, uh, every day. So it's a pretty uh, impressive number. Um, yeah, as I mentioned already, clean diesels are available in several cars. We have it as a six-cylinder in the Turek, a six-cylinder TDI, and in the other models we have a two-cylinder TDI engine. Um, back to this engine, uh, that was uh, uh, one of the first turbocharged T uh, engines, downsized engines we offered here in the US. Uh, 200 horsepower, 202 uh, foot, uh, uh, foot uh, pound of torque, virtually leg free, and uh, all our enthusiasts uh, really appreciate these engines in the GLI, GTI, or you also can drive it today on the Golf R with an even higher horsepower than this. Forthcoming, we are also bringing uh, another version of this engine family. 1.8 engine to uh, improve uh, fuel economy even further. And in this car here behind me, uh, we have the 1.4 TSI engine, a different family, which we introduced first time in the US here in the hybrid. Uh, staying a little bit with this car here, so that uh, we will launch this car. It was introduced in Detroit uh, this year at the auto show. We will launch this car later in the fall. It provides you a fuel economy uh, com uh, combined uh, by 45 uh, miles per gallon. Um, it's a world first hybrid with a seven speed dual clutch transmission. And uh, you can actually drive this car up to 44 miles per hour, pure electric. Um, so with this, it also accelerates from, from uh, zero to 60 in about uh, a less, in less than nine uh, seconds. So that's the fastest hybrid uh, in, its compass, uh, in its compact segment. So again, that is uh, uh, true to our philosophy that we want to uh, provide to the customer fuel efficient vehicles which they, uh, where they don't have to compromise uh, performance. But that's not the only one what we are doing. Uh, on the other side here in this room, you see uh, the uh, most successful uh, European hatch ever sold, and now equipped with an electric uh, motor. Um, that's the current generation which we are having. It's a prototype or more prototypes. You saw a couple of these cars already outside. I'll tell you in a little bit uh, why you saw uh, the uh, 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 as many cars outside of the building. So this uh, car uh, delivers 199 foot-pound of torque uh, powered by a lithium-ion battery which, uh, which has a capacity of 26.5 uh, kilowatt. And you can drive with this car up to uh, 93 uh, miles. That's the range. So we will uh, uh, launch uh, electric uh, Golf for the next generation in about uh, uh, yeah, what do we have uh, in about uh, 2014? 
Currently, we are introducing, and that's the reason why you see all these cars here outside of the building, a fleet for our employees. We want to uh, research driving patterns, charging patterns, uh, and how these cars are performing in different uh, climatic, uh, in a different climatic environment. Uh, for this reason, we also equip the homes of the participants uh, uh, with uh, kind of these uh, charging stations, level two charging uh, stations, 240 volt, um, and we have 20 of these uh, vehicles uh, in the country.